watching 7 Action News, always taking action for you. We'll begin with that mom accused of trying to sell her four-year-old daughter to a stranger. 7 Action News reporter Smitha Kaloki uncovered disturbing details on that man. It's a story you'll only see here on 7. Police say they knew this case was bad, but it might be worse than it initially appeared. And tonight there are concerns there could be more victims. You can hear Jennifer Bryce's desperate pleas in the background on the 911 call. It's in your phone. On September 1st, Bryce's ex-boyfriend and the father of her daughter made the call after allegedly finding disturbing text messages on her cell phone. They're quite clear as to what his intent was, quite clear as to what his preference was, and quite clear that his preference was illegal. Police say 25-year-old Bryce put a prostitution advertisement on the controversial dating website Backpage.com. 26-year-old Edward Cody Reardon of Lincoln Park answered it. But police say when he learned the Warren mom had a four-year-old daughter, he allegedly wanted to have an inappropriate contact with the child, suggesting through text messages that they shower together, among other things. He asked for a nude photo of her four-year-old daughter and she sends a, a clothed photo. According to police, this picture texted from Reardon promised cash, as little as $300, for a visit. Today, only seven Action News cameras were rolling as Reardon and Bryce were arraigned on charges of child sexual abuse and using the Internet for crime. I literally don't have a place to live. I'm not a flight risk. I just want to get out. I want to work my CPS plan. So I'm not a flight risk. I would just like to go home and get a lawyer, and I will do what I'm told. I'm going to stay on the tether and follow the rules like I have been. Both pleaded for lenient bonds, but it was set at half a million dollars cash. Factoring into the judge's decision, Reardon's links to other possible crimes. He is currently being investigated by the FBI for a similar case out of Nebraska. And again, police stress they do not believe this is an isolated incident. They do fear that there are additional victims. If you know anything, call police. From Warren, Smitha Kaloki, 7 Action News. Well, Edward Cody Reardon and Jennifer Bryce are in jail right now. They are charged with child sexually abusive activity and using a computer to commit a crime. The felonies carry a maximum 20-year penalty in prison. Both suspects are expected to be back in court at the beginning of November.